head. But the theory of there being what people call a peeping Tom, is that still an option that someone was in the woods looking at these victims? And if that is true, should the public still be concerned right now? Because that person is still out on the loose. So that's a two-part question. Uh, so the first part of that question uh, is essentially, have we ruled anything out? And, and I can tell you unequivocally, we have not. As we're gaining this picture of what occurred, I think we're going to be able to hopefully ascertain kind of the facts of the case and potentially come up with some sort of idea. Uh, we do not want to get pigeonholed into anything because we would feel that we would miss the other facts. And right now, uh, since, since we don't have a specific direction in which to go, we don't want to miss the other facts. Uh, the second part of that question, I think, is more about the public safety and the public concern, fear in the community. Uh, we recognize there's fear in the community. Um, ultimately, uh, there is a person or persons that is in either our community or someone else's community who's committed four murders. And so people need to be alert and aware. Obviously, you got somebody that's on the loose right now. There's a lot of fear with the public. Based on what you guys have been able to, to collect, and y'all have profiles there on the team, BAU unit is here. Why not go ahead and release that profile? So we don't currently have a suspect. And so as we build that picture, um, that information from BAU is going to be critical into trying to develop that. And so if we just provide information to the public, I just don't think that that's going to be a wise choice. It will potentially put more fear, uh, more suspicion on a wide variety of people versus if we use that to really refine where we're at in our investigation. I think that will be more pertinent. Based on the profile that BAU has been able to gather, and again, I understand this is crucial to your investigation, do you believe that this suspect has the ability to attack again, or do you think this is an isolated incident, that he was specifically targeting individuals or in the, an individual there at that house? You know, so I think we have to kind of go back to our, unfortunately, our standard is that we believe that this was a targeted incident. So you don't think this, based on the profile, this person or persons will attack again? I would hate to speculate on anything like that. Uh, if you say one way or the other, I, I think that uh, you'd be doing a disservice to the community. So uh, ultimately, um, we know that there is somebody who has somebody, some people, right? Um, ultimately, we know that there's a person or persons that is in a community somewhere that has committed four murders. And I think it's important for the public to know that while they may not see a lot of activity in and out of the house, they may not uh, hear about a lot of the different interviews that are occurring, we're making substantial progress. We have a lot of people working on this case. And you know our ultimate resolution is that we would like to find a suspect, make an arrest, and then go through the, the judicial process, because that's what would be appropriate.